during overtime, everybody in the newsroom, we were all glued to the TV, everybody just had just kind of hung lower after that. A little deflated yeah. after that. And, and apparently, not the only place that was deflated, literally. Yeah, Ben DC Live, we'll go back to him in Roseville with reaction, and we uh, observed earlier, empty behind you. So <laughs> overall, how was business though tonight? <laughs> emptied out in here, right? But it was a whole lot of fun. Earlier, we were at the Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Heights on Sunrise, and Jen Butler is here with us. Jen is the uh, Assistant General Manager. Talk to me a little bit about how challenging it is to work in an environment where everybody's hyped up and it's packed wall to wall. It's great. It's always a rush. Buffalo Wild Wings is kind of the ultimate experience sports for, for sports fans. Yeah. And uh, really, from, from the beginning, the time the game started to the time the game ended, the atmosphere here was electric. It's still kind of is. seeing the Niners play sure. all season this well. Sure, and you, you know, unfortunately not going to see them in one final game right. this season. Uh, talk to me about the impact that has on business. I'm sure folks will turn up yeah. here anyway for the Super Bowl, but Absolutely. a lot more for the 49 It would have been even better for the Niners in the Super Bowl, but honestly, we still serve a whole lot of wings for Super Bowl Sunday every single year. So this Man. is just, it's made a lot of takeout. It looks like fans of the losing team just yeah. don't eat quite as much. <laughs> no, probably not. All right, Jen, thanks very Thank much. You. So there you go, guys. You know, a, a great day for for Buffalo Wild Wings here, but uh, sort of ended on a sour note for a lot. So. Yeah. yeah, at least they could, did good business for part of the day. Ben DC Live for us tonight, thanks. All right, we've got lots more 49er coverage to come for you this evening. Just log on to fox40.com.